This unboxing brought to you in part by eFax, the world's premier all-inclusive fax solution. Send, receive, and manage your fax communications through the internet. Call toll-free 877-273-4097. Again, that's toll-free 877-273-4097 and be up and faxing in two minutes flat. Hey, this is Mike Moo, and here I have a Panasonic RR-US591 uh, small micro zoom uh, recorder that records all digital onto MP3 format. And this particular version has 4 gigabytes of memory and also allows you to record in stereo, all in MP3 format. It's got a built-in zoom microphone, a noise cut function, and um, supposedly, I don't know what 330 milliwatts means, but looks like that's the max output power as far as the speaker is concerned when you need to play back something that you've recorded. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna put it through some tests. We're gonna compare it to some other portable recording solutions that I have around. Unfortunately, I couldn't get um, some of the uh, the uh, more um, professional recording solutions from uh, Zoom and uh, Samson since they weren't sending out any samples. So uh, this looked like a fairly good compromise as far as portability and price is concerned. I believe the lowest price, street price that you can find this for is around $60. You might have to get one that has a little bit less memory, but um, for all intents and purposes besides just the memory is concerned, um, you're looking at RR-US 5XX series. So I believe you get the US 551, that's one gigabyte, and this is the uh, 591 version. It has a zoom mic function, which actually functions kind of like a cardioid uh, microphone that allows you to capture it pointed uh, when you point it directly towards your target. It allows you to capture the voice more clearly with less surrounding noise. It's got a built-in USB link, um, which basically just uses mini USB connection cable and uh, features a couple of recording modes. If you're recording in stereo, the highest quality you can record it at is ST-XP mode which records at 128 kilobits per second and has a recording time of a whopping 68 hours so more or less you can just keep recording this uh, uh, like let's say you're taking notes all on the trip or for um, interview trade shows whatever you can record with it for quite a long time um, this unit is made in Malaysia uh, and it is I believe currently Panasonic's top-of-the-line unit that they still sell right now, although I'm pretty sure that Panasonic has made some other units which I personally uh, consider to be higher-end with more features and uh, made in Japan as well. And as you can see, this is actually kind of thick. It is definitely thicker than an iPhone 4. However, if you were to compare this with an iPhone 4, which isn't quite fair, um, the iPhone 4 does not have stereo recording and does not have a very good uh, zoom mic function plus you've got to run an additional application to do any voice recording although there is some flexibility there and uh, some of the accessories that was made for um, the uh, iPhone and iPads and iPods as far as recording have stopped working since a future uh, since a um, firmware update which reduces the amount of voltage that comes out of the uh, iPhone dock all right, now that I've taken it out of the box, uh, I gotta say first impressions are that it feels really cheap. All of this stuff is plastic. Gone is the metal and um, alloy uh, composites used in the bodies of some of these higher end recorders. This is all plastic, guys. One benefit is that it's really lightweight, um, and also it keeps the price and the cost down. But um, as you can as you can see it, it's all plastic, and as a result too, it's also thicker but it'll allow us to use um, what are these AAA batteries and two of them is all it takes still what matters the most is the sound quality and the durability the buttons feel okay it doesn't feel really heavy duty um, I can see that if you don't have the hold function on you can easily press uh, record way too easily or the erase button which is not good and uh, the quality of the buttons aren't that great I can tell just from pressing them that this isn't something that you will expect to keep for a really long time through daily and extensive use, especially professionally.
So here is the uh, size of the um, small Panasonic recorder with the zoom mic and you compare that with my professional recorder by Sony and obviously the sound quality is just absolutely no comparison. Uh, my Sony has very low noise, very high quality mics, adjustable, blah blah blah, um, but it doesn't have a built-in speaker. This has a built-in speaker, very portable, um, really easy to use and, and fit in a pocket, whereas this I'd have to fit in a coat pocket. Um, the quality of this, of course, is nowhere near as good. Uh, it is obviously a night and day difference. I mean, even just recording conference calls and all that. There's, If I'm sitting about, let's say, about 30 feet away from the speaker who is not amplified via microphone, you're going to hear a lot of noise, like more noise than actually the person speaking, even in Zoom microphone mode. Um, and again, it's really small. It uh, has a built-in USB port right here that I could just plug in and download easily to the computer. Um, you can run it through some noise reduction uh, mm -hmm. software that is not included and hopefully get okay results. So I'm going to go ahead and record something right now. Let me turn it on. I'm going to set it to my manual mode, which has the microphone at low sensitivity, which is what I recommend for the highest quality recording. Um, if you know, if, if you're just speaking to it. So I'm going to go ahead and record something right now. You'll, right now I'm talking in front of it um, and also, let's see, handling it. So you'll get some handling noise as well. But you can go ahead and compare that with the built-in microphone of my Sony HD camcorder. You kind of get an idea. Both are recording in stereo. Um, and so that is the sound quality. You, you'll hear the difference between um, this and my Sony camcorder. Um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now. But, you know, I only paid about $60 for this with the 4 gigabyte of storage, which allows you to record for a really long time. I recorded a seminar, a uh, Chinese seminar, for about two hours, and the battery life is, is, I mean, there's not even dent in the battery life or the storage capacity. Of course, I record it in Zoom, which only works in mono recording mode, not stereo recording mode. Um, I think also the interference between this and my cell phone uh, might have been affected as well. So uh, you'll hear some uh, uh, recurring um, putting sounds uh, in the recording. So you should just be aware about that too. You want to keep it as far away from your cell phone or turning in airplane mode as possible. Hey, this is a test recording. I'm recording in stereo with low microphone sensitivity. <clears throat> this is a test recording. I am just a couple of inches away from the microphone speaking in a uh, somewhat lower than normal voice. Record something right now. You'll right now I'm talking in front of it um, and also let's see handling it so you'll get some handling noise as well. But you can go ahead and compare that with the built-in microphone of my Sony HD camcorder and you kind of get an idea. Both are recording in stereo. Um, and so that is the sound quality. You, you'll hear the difference between um, this and my Sony camcorder. Um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now. Okay, well, that's pretty much wrap. It is a good quality recorder for a student who doesn't mind sitting in the front row um, or as close as possible to the lecturer or in a meeting where you guys are sitting really closely. And uh, not so good if you want to do any professional recording, let's say, um, you know, for your videos or for singing or anything like that. It records an MP3 and the highest bit rate, I believe, is 128 kilobits per second.